Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alan in Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor of Simply Vegas. Today we'll be exploring a fully custom home in the community of Serenity Brook. Located in the northwest area of the Las Vegas Valley, the major crossroads are West End Road and North Grand Canyon Drive. Serenity Brook is a gated community that will feature a total of 29 custom homes. The HOA is $105 per month and there are no SIDS or LEDs. The home sites in this community range between one third of an acre up to three quarters of an acre. If it's your first time here, please consider to take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. The property address for the custom home that we're featuring today is 5395 Secluded Brook Court. This home is currently priced at $3 million and was built in 2013. This single-story home features 5,507 square feet of living space, a total of 6 bedrooms, 6.5 bathrooms, a 4-car garage, RV parking, a pool and spa, and a detached casita. The detached casita is the largest casita that I have seen. It is 1,298 square feet. It also has 2 bedrooms, 2 bathrooms, and its own kitchen. Before we get started with the tour, I would like to give a special thank you to the listing agent, Robert Rosai from JPAR Elite. This home is located on the end of a cul-de-sac and sits on a 29,185 square foot lot, which is close to 3 quarters of an acre. Here at the front of the home is a porch. There's a ring doorbell as well as an intercom. The front door looks to be made of steel. As you step past the front door, we are now in the courtyard. The courtyard has a water feature. There's also this shaded area with a fire pit. There are large windows on all sides. In this corner is an outdoor kitchen. This outdoor kitchen not only features a sink, but it also features a cooktop as well. There are ceiling fans, recessed lights, and built-in speakers up above. Here's a water feature with stone surrounding it. This is a attached casita. There are two casitas for this home. The door is a sliding glass door. There's a mini split in this casita. This casita will also have its own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 2. Bathroom 2 has a single piece toilet. There's also a walk in shower with a full height tile surround and a frameless glass enclosure. This shower is a handheld shower, and this shower is a zero threshold. Bathroom 2 features a single handle faucet and a chrome finish, an undermount sink, and Calcutta quartz countertops with folding cabinets. This is the walk-in closet for the attached casita.
This is the front door to the main house. The baseboards are painted on dark trim, and the foyer and great room are soaring ceilings. Many of the windows in this home will have rolling shades. The first space to the left that we see is the dining room. There's a large window in the dining room that overlooks your courtyard. And up above, we have six recess lights, two chandeliers, and tray ceilings. The dining room measures 14 by 16. Here we have the great room. The great room measures 18 by 22. The great room has soaring ceilings with clear store windows up above and a ceiling fan. Off of the great room are bifold glass doors that open up into your backyard. This is a full height tile accent wall in the great room. Off of the great room is a media room. The media room will feature a cinema screen and a projector. There are a total of five built-in speakers on the walls. This is the wet bar. This next space is the kitchen. The kitchen is quite expansive and measures 14 by 26. Here is a built-in GE monogram microwave. The kitchen countertops are white Calcutta quartz countertop. The kitchen island is also in the quartz but in the solid color. It has waterfall legs and a 2 and a quarter inch fedomiter edge. They have used wood paneling as a kitchen island skin. A majority of the appliances in this kitchen are GE monogram appliances. This includes a microwave, a side by side refrigerator, a 48 inch canopy hood, a 48 inch cooktop, double ovens, and then you have Fisher and Paquel appliances, which include two dishwashers. The cabinets in the kitchen are flat panel cabinets. You also have a full height backsplash. The drawers are dovetail drawers with soft close hinges. There are two kitchen sinks, one on the island and one on the perimeter, both of which are in a chrome finish. These are double coolers here. This is a 72 inch professional GE monogram side by side refrigerator. Here we have a GE monogram hood. Below the hood is a pot filler and a chrome finish. 
And down below is your 48 inch gas cooktop. On this bar are your double ovens. Here's the butler's pantry. There are additional base cabinets below. And this is your drop zone. This is the walk-in pantry. Here's the coat closet. This home features door levers and a chrome finish, as well as 8 foot interior doors. If you enjoyed the video so far, please give me a thumbs up and hit that like button. Down this hallway to the left is the primary bedroom suite. The primary bedroom will feature two ceiling fans, six recessed lights, tray ceilings, and many built-in speakers. The primary bedroom is very spacious and measures 15 by 36. Here's a sliding glass door that leads to your backyard. The primer bedroom will have its own Google Nest thermostat. Now for the primer bathroom. In the primer bathroom, we have split vanities with floating cabinets. Both of the vanities will feature a full width mirror with undermount sink, flat panel floating cabinets, and a full height tile accent wall. The bathroom faucets are widespread faucets in a chrome finish. In the center of the primary bathroom is a freestanding tub and you have a full height tub accent wall with a raised outlet, cat 6 outlet, and a cable outlet. There's a frosted window here and there are two shower heads. There's a soap niche on the opposite end and a handheld shower on this end. This is a zero threshold shower. Here with the other vanity. There are two walk-in closets. This is the larger walk-in closet. And here's a smaller walk-in closet. There are mirrors on all walls here. And then there's the water closet. In the water closet, there's a single piece toilet and a bidet. Down this hall to the left is the powder room. The powder room has a full height tile accent wall on two walls. There's also a Calcutta quartz on top with a 2 and quarter inch Fredermeyer edge, and the colors are black and white. You have this sleek faucet, and this countertop has a waterfall legs. The powder room will feature a single piece toilet and a bidet. Across from the pot room is your laundry room. The laundry room will feature a front-loading washer and dryer, upper cabinets, base cabinets, as well as a laundry sink. As we head further down the hallway to the right is bedroom 3. Bedroom 3 will feature 4 recessed lights, a ceiling fan with a light, and two built-in speakers. 
Bedroom 3 will have its own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 3. This is the walk-in closet for bedroom 3. There's a shower and toilet compartment for bathroom 3. Bathroom 3 features a walk-in shower with a full height tile surround. The tile used here is a 12 by 24 tile in a straight stack pattern. Bathroom 3 will also have a handheld shower with the similar bidet as well as a single piece toilet. In this hallway, there is a door to a linen closet. This is bedroom 4. Bedroom 4 will feature 4 recess lights, a ceiling fan, and 2 built-in speakers. This is the walk-in closet for bedroom 4. Bedroom 4 has its own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 4. I like how they use different tiles as well as countertops and backsplash for different bathrooms. This is bathroom 4's toilet and shower compartment. They went with a black and white theme. This shower has a frame glass enclosure and a handheld shower. Off of the kitchen is a center sliding door that leads to your backyard. In your backyard, there's a covered patio. This covered patio is quite spacious. There are ceiling fans up above. These are the doors that we saw earlier in the great room. Now for the backyard. In your backyard, you have a pool and a spa, both of which are Pebble Tech. Here's a sitting area off of the primary bedroom. Your pool equipment. And there's an AC unit further down. This pool and spa can be heated and there's a beautiful water feature as well. Here we have a security gate. There's another outdoor dining area. A AC unit here. The building on the right hand side is your detached casita. We're now heading into the garage. This is a 4 car garage. The total square footage for this garage is 1100 square feet. There are two Renai tankless water heaters on this wall as well as a water softener. There's a central vacuum on that wall. This 4 car garage has an EV charger and wall mounted garage door openers. This space is for RV parking. Behind here is artificial turf and a playground area. The detached casita will have its own AC unit.
Now this detached casita is quite amazing. It totals nearly 1300 square feet of living space. This casita not only has its own kitchen, living room, but it also has two bedrooms and two full bathrooms. We'll start with the kitchen. On this wall are floating shelves. You have white shaker cabinets with matte black hardware. This is the kitchen island with waterfall legs. The countertop is of black quartz with white veining. The appliances in this kitchen are Samsung appliances. You get a refrigerator, a microwave, a cooktop, a hood, and a dishwasher. There's also a full height backsplash. Half of the backsplash matches the countertops and the other half is a hexagon tile. This is the kitchen sink. This is the Google Nest thermostat. This is bathroom 5. Bathroom 5 features an undermount sink, quartz countertops, a full height tile accent wall, and a single lever faucet in a matte black. Here's a single piece toilet, as well as a zero threshold shower with a full height tile surround. This is bedroom 5. Bedroom 5 has 4 recessed lights and a ceiling fan. This is bedroom 5's walk-in closet. Like the Lego head. This is the utility closet, which has a tankless water heater. This is the casita's living room. Behind this door is the pantry. You have curtains here that cover your laundry closet. In the laundry closet, you have a stackable front-loading washer and dryer. And there are base cabinets on the opposite end. This is bedroom 6. Bedroom 6 features 4 recessed lights, a ceiling fan, and a sliding glass door that leads to your backyard. Bedroom 6 also has a mini split. Bedroom 6 will have his own ensuite bathroom, which is bathroom 6. This is the walk in closet. The shower for bathroom 6 is quite eclectic. There's a full height tile surround. It looks like a zebra pattern. The flooring is a black hexagon tile. This concludes my home tour of a single story custom home in the northwest area of the Las Vegas Valley. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or like my real estate assistance when buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching your end, and I'll see you in the next video.